Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankaj Rai, and in this video, I'm going to show how you can add bottom navigation to your Jetpack Compose app. Well, bottom navigation is something which is very common across the application. So, in this video, we'll see how easy it is to add with your Jetpack Compose app. Eventually, this is going to look something like this we have icon at the bottom, and when you tap on any of the icon, the center content of the screen is changing. Well, in the traditional Android system, this is something which could be achieved with the fragments. So, do we still need fragment here, or we can achieve this without fragment? We'll see all of them in this video. But before that, if you haven't subscribed this channel, then do hit the subscribe button so that you will not miss the upcoming videos on the latest topics of Android, Kotlin, and Firebase. Okay, so let's get started with this video. So first go to Gradle and add one dependency. That dependency is for routing through the screen, which is this dependency, navigation compose. The current version is alpha 3 and the moment you add this dependency, then you have an ability to have a routing concept, which means that because you are navigating from one screen to another screen, which is eventually nothing but you are moving from one composable to another composable. So that is something which is easily done using this navigation compose library because it's not just moving between the composable, but it's also about maintaining the back stack so that when you hit back button, it should go back to the previous state. For example, here in this screen, no matter where I am, when I hit back button, it will again come back to the account. Here it is. So if you haven't used the navigation compose before, then I do have created video for this. I'll give link in the description so that you can check out that. So now let's go back to our main activity. This is the place where we have created our bottom navigation. So first of all, let's see what we are doing in the set content. This is the default name of the project appended with the theme. The new thing here is the nav controller. Remember nav controller. Well, this is needed to us because nav controller is responsible to navigate between this composable. And how do it navigate it? That is done using the nav host. So let's see our nav host first and then we'll come back to the bottom navigation. This is one composable and inside this composable we have defined our nav host. Nav host is something which you can think as if it is a graph where you define that what are the nodes available for the navigation. And those nodes are something which nav controller have access to. So that eventually if you say that you are in the account screen and from the account if you want to move to the like screen, then what you need to do is that on this nav controller you just need to call dot navigate method, pass on this string and it understand that you are trying to execute this part. So it will execute this lambda, which is nothing but another composable. Okay, so that was a short story about the nav host. Now let's go back to our bottom navigation. Here inside this bottom jet theme, I have surface. Surface is useful to set the background, which can only take one composable. And here we just have one, which is nothing but the scaffold. So why do we need this? Well, there is no hard and fast rule that you should only use scaffold for the top bar or the bottom navigation. But the prime reason of using scaffold is that if you want to place it to the appropriate places, then scaffold is really helpful for that. For example, in, now in this emulator you could see that I have top bar at the top and bottom bar at the bottom. Also, the center part is nothing but the body content. Well, eventually if you see this code, then I haven't specified the alignment for any of them. I just have a top bar and in this I have specified what is my top bar. Bottom bar, I've specified this bottom navigation. Body content is at this place. So how do it is aligning itself? That's all because of the scaffold. So under the hood, what it's going to do is that it knows where to put the top bar, where to put the body content, and where to put the 
bottom navigation apart from this you can also have the fab and if you're using the bottom cut fab then all sort of things you can achieve using the scaffold so now let's come to our top bar top app bar this is very simple top app bar where we have the title and an icon here which is clickable how do i did that that's straightforward specify the title and uh, whatever content which you want to have it to the right side of this top app bar specify this in action here i just have one icon button with an icon now let's see about bottom bar so for bottom bar one thing which is quite common is that the navigation between the screens well with the existing view system this is something which can be achieved with the fragments so this entire part will be the part of an activity and the center part this will be the fragment but here with jetpack compose you actually do not need fragments you can avoid using fragment because here everything is composable so if you want to have multi-pane layouts or the same design across multiple screens then you just have to create a single composable and then you can reuse it here also whatever screen which you are seeing like account date and the background which is changing for it these are all composable so for doing all those things we need to maintain a list of all the screens if you do not do this still you can do it but the major concern there is that your length of code will increase for example let me show this what it is it's nothing but a normal sealed class named as screen and i am trying to get the route label and icon information which are all hard coded because i know my screens so i know my account screen is this which requires route as account label i want as account this is label which you are seeing here and i also know the icon which i have to specify for this account so likewise i have specified for the remaining three menu options also now let's go back to this place so i have a list of uh, all the sealed classes object now bottom navigation this is responsible for creating the bottom navigation well this is containing our bottom navigation item but before seeing that let's see what we are doing here so on a nav controller we are calling current backstack entry as state well the moment we specify this as state you can think as if we are saying that have an observer pattern so that as soon as the backstack changes recompose itself when it recomposes itself we get the updated value so this updated value is something which we can either set on the screen or we can do certain activities well here we are doing certain activity what is that on this backstack entry from the argument list we are fetching the current backstack entry name which is nothing but the screen which is visible to the user we are fetching that route then as i said when we maintain the list of all the screens which we want to show it becomes so easy to create this bottom navigation items so instead of writing this four times i just wrote it single time and this is getting iterated over the items this is again equivalent to writing a for loop where i'm running from zero till the list minus one time and then i'm just setting the content on the ui one thing also to observe here is that i'm not writing it inside the rows or columns the reason is this lambda provide us the row scope which means that whatever item which i'm going to add here it will automatically involved as a row so here on this items iterating over each items of this list also creating the bottom navigation item which takes icon icon is again something which we have specified here they are all hard coded currently my route name label name and all icons 
for account, thumb, date, and edit. I have all of them here. What I'm going to do is that from this object, I'm going to access all of them. So here I have the icon. I'm just calling it dot item. It is nothing but the instance of this item. So I get an object of this because it's for each. Then I'm also specifying whether it is selected or not. So if you see that when I'm selecting any of this icon, the color is changing to bright white color. So here it is. That's all because of this attribute selected. What I've specified here is that if the current route is equal to the route which we have it here, then make this a selected, which is nothing but the icon where you have tapped on. Also the label which you're seeing at the bottom of the icon. Then finally, what should happen when user taps on any of this icon? So here we are doing one interesting thing. What we are doing here is that on every tab, we are first doing popback stack till the start of the screen, but not taking the starting screen, which means that say if you have back stack entry as A, B, and C, now if I click on a button, then accept A, remove all of them. That is what this false means here. That I do not want my first composable in the back stack to get popped out. But apart from this, I want everything to get popped out. Also, we are checking it out here. If they both are not equal, that means if user is tapping on the same menu icon again and again, we do not want to navigate to the same composable over and over. So that's why we have this if condition. Well, that's it. By this little step, you have your bottom navigation for your Jetpack Compose. And the center screen which you're seeing with account, date, edit, thumb up, all these things is nothing but the center composable. And this is the place where you can have your complex UI or the simple UI where you have rows, columns, column inside columns, all sort of things you can have it here. Because we are using the navigation compose so it also maintain the back stack so from account now if i hit back button it will exit from the app so this was a very straightforward way of using bottom navigation but how about if i do not want this color which is nothing but the system primary color i want something else so how can i change the bottom navigation background color so for that we can specify the parameter for this bottom navigation if you look at the parameters that it accepts, then it's having a modifier, background color, content color, and elevation also we can specify here. So let me do one thing. Let me change the background color. And one interesting thing which you'll see here is that it's not just about changing the background color, but it also have the awareness of the background color when it is change the color for this icons and the text. So when I change the background color, what it's going to do is that it's not going to change only the background color, but also the appropriate color which should be needed for this icon. And here you could see that. So as per the material design, if you have the background color as yellow, which is a bit light color, then the ascent color should be the dark color. Well, I haven't specified any way that I want this to be black color, but still it is coming. That's all because of the content color, which you can see here. It is trying to fetch the content color based on the background color. And this is done automatically for you. But how about if I do not want this? I want my content color as white itself. Then you can override that and specify the color as white color. And here you could see that the color will change from black to white. So here it is. With white color, it is hardly visible to the eyes. And that's again because of the material design. With the light color, the ascent color should not be a light color.
as it understand it it has set the color as black color by default so that was a very short introduction about the bottom navigation which is very simple to use and add with the jetpack compose so if you have liked this video then do not forget to hit the like button and do subscribe this channel to get the videos on the latest topics of android kotlin and firebase thank you and stay tuned